Movies have the power to make an audience believe an actor has always looked a certain way. Take, for instance, Kelsey Grammer in the X-Men films. With a bit of makeup and some prosthetics, you truly believe he could have been a blue, beastly mutant at one point in his life. The reality, however, is slightly more complicated. It takes more than just the clothing and a hint of makeup to make a costume come alive. Whether the outfit is CGI or handcrafted by a costume designer, fans always remember the greats. Check out these 10 shocking facts you didn't know about your favorite movie costumes. Black Panther and Captain America Civil War Wakanda is one of Marvel's most technologically advanced countries in the world, notable for its massive supply of vibranium, the same metal found in Captain America's shield. But what you probably didn't know is the durable and powerful metal is also found in King T'Challa's Black Panther suit, giving him one big advantage in Captain America Civil War. Actor Chadwick Boseman spoke in detail about the Black Panther costume, revealing to Entertainment Weekly that the infused suit absorbs attacks from an opponent. That explains how Black Panther stood perfectly still while being shot at by police in a helicopter in Civil War. Catwoman in Batman Returns A popular figure in DC Comics, Catwoman has been featured in most media adaptations related to Batman, most recently in 2012's The Dark Knight Rises. But arguably, Selina Kyle's finest moments came in Tim Burton's 1992 Batman Returns, which had Michelle Pfeiffer step into the role. While Pfeiffer's sexy and sleek outfit gave the appearance of latex, it actually took a little more work to get that glossy and sheen look. When Pfeiffer put on her cat costume, the costume department used big sponge brushes to lather her in a thick silicone. Costume designer Mary Vogue to stated the process was messy, but the final look was perfect, giving the actress a fluid and elegant look with a hint of grunge. Gotta go, girl talk. Johnny Depp in Edward Scissorhands This Tim Burton film featured an almost unrecognizable Johnny Depp with tight and creaky leather, a wild mess of hair, and the scissors for hands, of course. The look came together to give Depp a Frankenstein American goth feel, but with the art came a bit of suffering for the actor. To ease some of Depp's pain, the director and costume designer installed a special cool suit that would stop him from overheating in the Florida sun on those long shooting days. Despite these efforts, the actor would still rush over to special fans to cool down after a shot. Viggo Mortensen in the Lord of the Rings trilogy. Peter Jackson's epic adaptation of J.R.R. Tolkien's The Lord of the Rings trilogy features the rugged character Aragorn, played by Viggo Mortensen. When initially introduced, the character had a distinctive look of a grungy and rough man, which is exactly what Mortensen wanted. The actor wanted to give his costume the lived-in appearance and took it upon himself to make that happen. He reportedly took his outfit home, then lived, breathed, and sweated in it until it looked as beaten and battered as possible. He even repaired the costume whenever it needed it. Mortensen's efforts paid off, as the actor not only delivered a breakout performance, but looked 100 100% the part while doing it. Viggo Mortensen and Sean Bean in Lord of the Rings Two fellowship actors wore no prosthetics in Lord of the Rings. Almost all the actors in Lord of the Rings wore prosthetics to create the look of their various fantasy races. Among the many used in the films were the pointed elf ears that were worn by both Kate Blanchett as Galadriel and Liv Tyler as Arwen, hairy hobbit feet worn by Elijah Wood as Frodo Baggins and Sean Astin as Samwise Gamgee, and much more. However, two members of the Nine in the Fellowship managed to go prosthetic free. Both Viggo Mortensen as Aragorn and Sean Bean as Boromir wore no latex additions to their costumes, which is because they were playing humans. Heath Ledger as the Joker in The Dark Knight Heath Ledger will arguably remain the best Joker to grace the screen in Christopher Nolan's Batman adaptation. The actor went to great lengths to get in the right mindset of the psychotic clown in The Dark Knight. He locked himself in a hotel room for a month and worked on his character's voice and personality, all while keeping a diary to chronicle the Joker's thoughts. He even designed the Joker's makeup using mascara and grease paint. Ledger said Sid Vicious and the thugs in Stanley Kubrick's A Clockwork Orange inspired him, while the costume designer Lindy Hemming looked to musicians such as Pete Doherty, Iggy Pop, and Johnny Rock for inspiration on wardrobe. Darth Vader in the original Star Wars trilogy. Would you believe that Darth Vader's costume was based on a gas mask, a motorcycle suit, and headgear Nazis wore during World War II? Costume designer John Molo fused elements of various real-life uniforms associated with war and evil to bring Vader's look to life. Aside from the Nazi gear and leather attire, the costume designer also added in elements from a monk's cloak found in the Middle Ages department of a costume warehouse. And that gave us the iconic villain of the original Star Wars trilogy, Darth Vader. It's also worth noting that his helmet isn't the only German army reference in the films. Vader's army of Stormtroopers are named after specialist German soldiers in World War I. Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man Before Tom Holland took the mantle of Spider-Man, a young Tobey Maguire stepped into the red and black Lycra costume. Well, apparently, there were 70 versions of the Spider-Man suit made for the films. Costume designer James Atchison created 70 different versions of the famous costume while trying to find the right perfect way to get the webbing to stay on and remain flexible. According to Movie Pilot, Atchison recalled a disastrous time when everything on the costume went belly up. Speaking to Imaginary World, Atchison said, We had a stuntman on a wire and they flew him straight into a tree and the whole suit, I mean half the webbing, unglued from the suit. I mean, it was sort of like a terrible waffle hanging in the trees. It was a disaster. Luckily, we now have amazing CGI capabilities to keep those details in place. 
Harry Potter and the Wizard Wands. Every wand seen in any of the eight Harry Potter films has been created on site, which include the few Daniel Radcliffe has worn out. Just like in the books, no two wands are alike. Most of the wands have remained the same throughout the films, staying a consistent 13 to 15 inches long, just like in the books. This means characters have grown into their wands over years of filming. The wand belonging to Dumbledore, played by Michael Gambon, has remained the same throughout all the films, even before fans knew of its significance as the Elder Wand. Hugh Jackman's Wolverine Claws Wolverine's adamantium claws are as iconic as the character's sideburns. Visual effects supervisor Tim Crosby spoke to FX Guide about the practicality of those unique claws, saying, Those metal claws are pretty sharp. You can put out an eye pretty easily. They are polished aluminum. They had to be sharp, otherwise they wouldn't play properly in a close-up. But only a certain level of stuns can be done with them, beyond which even the slightest bump can cut his knuckles. So that's where CG takes over. Beyond CGI, Jackman would sport plastic claws, rubber claws, and even small two-inch long stubs. What do you think of our list? Are there any other shocking costume facts we missed? Join the discussion in the comments below and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more great videos like this one. Thanks for watching.